All right, for another video of my little series about the 2023 Toyota Sienna. Um, great car, a few aftermarket things that have made our lives a lot easier and made this a much more functional car for us. Um, first, I'll cover um, the DVD player that didn't exist. We, we did get the entertainment system. The research really didn't help me find out that there's no DVD player with the entertainment system. You need to either take my phone captive and, and run a uh, adapter to an HDMI, or I need to pay for the internet in order in the car to be able to cast to the screen of it. Um, hey, our kids have iPads. They use them quite a bit, but on long road trips, our four month old doesn't. And sometimes uh, the iPads need to rest and it's really nice just to run old school DVDs. So I'll show you my solution there. Also a number of different kind of aftermarket goodies that just make sense. Uh, that have kind of made things a lot easier, especially made it a little more functional like the 2012 was as far as um, where we got used to kind of sticking stuff, uh, sunglasses, trash, different things like that. So um, stay tuned. Give me about five minutes. We'll, we'll show you this details of the things we bought and I'll try to add some links below on how to get some of it done. <coughs> Excuse me, which we just don't care to pay for. So here's the solution. Um, I have a DVD player up front. To get there, I have this 90 degree HDMI uh, adapter, which I've found on Amazon, um, a decent cord, HDMI cord that I've ran to the front between the seats. I even entertained possibly kind of disassembling this and running this into the center console, and the DVD player just wouldn't fit in the center console. To make this clean running around, you can see these little clips, I'll add a link here, that hold this taut so it doesn't get tangled in the mechanism as you run your seat back and forth. Let me run this back, I'll show you how it comes around. So you can see some more of these clips, they just attach with three M's. I've had them come around, I've attached them to the top, down the side, and then here is my, I think, $35 DVD player. Nothing fancy, it's not a Blu-ray, um, but here's the trick. It runs off of the plug down here. When I'm not using it, I just back that plug out. When you pop the top, make sure that whichever one you buy, you're able to actually clip in your DVD player. So it's not just sitting in the tray and spinning, but it's actually clipped in. And what I've also done here is I try to keep my remotes on top here and they'd flop all over the place. So if you go to Home Depot, you can get um, toolbox liner. And if you put these on top of the toolbox liner, it's like an anti-skid surface and it just sticks around. So when it's time for this thing to run, I simply reach over, push that in, it's on. And uh, what's nice is when you turn off the car and turn on the car, it shuts down the DVD player. When you turn it back on, it picks up right where you left off. So it works very much like a factory solution. So factory remote for the TV, remote for the DVD player, it works beautifully. In addition to that, the tray you see it sitting in, this is an aftermarket built for the 2021, 2022, 2023 Siennas. It's a perfect, beautiful fit. Um, we've really enjoyed that having it there. And that's enabled us with this accessory to put our basket here underneath for our trash. In our old 2012, we loved having this open wheel well of the big basket where we just collect all of our trash. We fill it up with gas, we dump it. But now this is fulfilling the same purpose. We just have to you know, work it out when it goes to leave. Uh, other aftermarket interesting things, which I think everyone should have in these, is simply when you open this, the tray, that's a no-brainer on Amazon. Um, you lift it out, there's the full deep well underneath it. Um, also, one thing my wife was not so excited about, but had learned to love because I just went ahead and bought it. This is an aftermarket tray as well. It fits perfectly over the screen and down with some 3M tape in here. It's good and deep. It holds our sunglasses. In our 2012, we kind of missed that top tray for that tertiary little screen with your heat and air and outside temperature. We'd kind of stash everything. Um, now we have that back here. Also, with CarPlay and the really good um, audio that we have here in the new system, we still don't use CarPlay that often around town. So I like to use my phone. So this is for my pop socket to mount to. Really cheap, I think $15 for two. I have one in my truck, I have one here. Um, it works really well on road trips. Last but not least, um, speaking of having the toolbox liner for the top of your DVD player down here, 
this little shelf. Stuff would just slide all over and you can't help but utilize it. So this is another piece of that toolbox liner that I cut to shape. Simply take some paper, lay it in there, trace it, and then take some scissors, cut this out and put it in. Nothing slides off of it. It works extremely well. Um, last but not least, the aftermarket thing. We've lucked out with the upgraded mats in this. As you can see, they're already dirty, but with our kids, that saves us a lot. In the rear, we certainly bought this you know, aftermarket uh, insert to protect the carpet back here. Two different sizes. Check to make sure your car does or does not have a spare tire. That depends your shape. That determines what shape you have back here. Um, that's going to save us a lot down the road. Also, with this car, I mean, I hated the black interior at first, and I had a cousin who said, listen, we have a Sienna with black interior, and even though it's hard to vacuum, and it shows the, the dog hair and specks and stuff on it, it doesn't show any stains. So, so far, we've really enjoyed that as well. So, there's a few of our aftermarket things that make life easier um, in our Sienna. Um, hope that's helpful.